Welcome, Welcome to Without Shade in the City. You. And yo can't do nothing for you. These hoes ain't loyal. Ow, these hoes ain't loyal. I don't know why he thought so. Hello, that's what she is. I said she need to choose up. She chose up when she chose Meech and she choosing up again. Listen, that's what she do. That's what the hoes do. Right, right. So welcome, welcome y'all to Shade in the City. Y'all know I couldn't wait. That was literally in my head. As I literally was texting her last night and I was like, I'm definitely coming on singing these hoes ain't loyal. Okay, because that's what yeah. it was giving. And, and of course, because y'all know, I just love being right about things. You know what I'm saying? I hate to say it, but I just enjoy it. And, you know, we did have a couple angel, you know, savers in here that, you know, was like, oh, no. And nah, Angel got to go. And I was so happy how it happened. So anyway, Bla hey, Blaze Drew. Hey, Michelle A. What's up, Jack? Thank you. Thank you. Because I, I feel like welcome. Down to her. I hope you're having a good time if you are. But yeah, y'all, I thought it was a great episode. We about to run the intro real quick. <laughs> Jack said, Siri, yes, Jack, queue up. These hoes ain't loyal. Yes. Um, why, yeah. why my Siri woke up? <laughs> what you say? I said, why my Siri woke up? Oh, you're funny. Um, hey, so, yeah, y'all, I thought it was a great episode. I definitely would probably, i probably still give it a about a good nine. I, I would change, give it, change your name on your thing. Oh, yeah. And yesterday. Yeah, let me change that. Um, but anyway, I'll do that um, while I run the intro. But we will be back, y'all. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button so the algorithm starts algorithming and doing what it needs to do. And, and that subscribe button so you can join the family. If you aren't already, because, you know, I feel like sometimes y'all be unsubscribing yourselves. Don't yeah, let's not do that. Let's, yeah. Let's um, but yeah, we, <laughs> well, we still appreciate you following the instructions. Right, Just right, right. Follow these. Yeah. I noticed some some people come back and resubscribe the next day, and I appreciate it. But anyway, so yeah, y'all, let's get into it, and let's get shady. Hey, My bad. I was about to say, girl, did we lose you, girl? No, I had to change the name. You know, I was working on it. I was working on it. What's up, J Dub? Welcome. No, not, Look at you. Not J Dub. Here he is. You got here for the BMF episode. I knew he watched it, but he never comes through. I was like, okay, you know, he all he been in MIA, but welcome. It's good to see you back, J Dub. Happy belated. I'm sure you saw my uh, birthday I wishes. See. Pisces. Yeah, Pisces. I mean, we're out of that season now. We all in the merger grade out of you know Mercury. The Aries, and... my boo, my baby. Yes. Who? Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. We, we like her too. Sometimes. <laughs> all right, y'all. So we see the episode open up. Um, Meech is you know attending Little Milton services, which I thought this was super ballsy of him. Um. I thought this was super ballsy. So did Remy. I didn't think so. I thought it was nice. No, no. Um, I look, look, look. He said, <laughs> he said, I be sleep and, and I'm a retiree from YT. I understand, but I do, I do miss your recaps and reviews. Look, look, we're trying to get to that level. <laughs> right. We want to be able to retire, J Dub. Uh, well, not really, not really. From the real job, not the YT. I, I can stay on YT. <laughs> um, so Remy is out here giving his eulogy while Terry attends uh, Rip's funeral. It took me forever to remember this boy's name. I feel so bad. Um, and then we see Bryant and um, don't get me lying. Now I remember Gloria, a.k.a. Cynthia Bailey. Um, they're at Kevin's uh, services. Now, Remy tells Meech that he has, you know, nerve basically showing up, like I said. Uh, but Meech tells him he's just there to pay respects and tells him how, you know, it's a shame that Milton had to depart so young like he did 
And so Remy tells Claude that from that point on, when he sees Meech, it's on sight, okay? And then Bryant confronts Terry at the uh, graveyard or whatever about losing Kevin and him sharing the same soil or whatever with, um, what's the, with Rip or whatever. Um, and so then he basically throws him into an empty, can I tell you that is one of my biggest fears? I was like, Ew. I don't care if the dirt is not thrown in on it yet. I feel, isn't it six feet deep? That's not something you can really crawl out of. At least not my short behind. I'm not getting out unless somebody pulls me out. Girl, they're going to put some straps down in there or something. The straps to help the, get the casket down. They're going to have to do something because, look, I was like, look, that look, and it looked painful. Yeah, it did. It didn't, it didn't stop him from knocking La La down now. He wasn't in too much pain. Tender DT. Um, Jack said, please let's take Remy away. I'm tired of his hairline and his awful leadership. I'm I'm just as tired of the hairline, so I'm not mad what's, at you. What's the homeboy's name that don't really want to mess with him no more? Claude. Claude. You giving Claude right now, Retro. Yeah, you you really are. <laughs> You're giving Claude. Um, okay, J Dub said he's tired of Brian. He only has himself to blame for everything. I absolutely Ooh. agree. I can be so honest with you. Not one time in this episode, aside from obviously you, you know, losing a child. But outside of that, and even then, I felt like it was a result of the funny business that she was doing, cause and effect, that I just, I couldn't feel bad for Brian at all, this episode for real. Go on, girl. Yeah. All right, so Duffy and the crew, they blow on, look, 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 ain't you proud I remember his name though? No. Who? Oh, Duffy, because yeah, yeah it's like, it I mean, was, the season's almost over, but right, I was like, I got it, I got it. Six. <laughs> and it's so bad because we know somebody named Duffy, which is crazy. Um, yeah, I know, don't don't judge me. Okay. All right, so Duffy and the crew they blow on one, you know, for Rip. Um, and he gives a speech about how you know he's gone but never forgotten. Meech invites everybody over to his house for a repass in a movie. His homeboy want to know if they're gonna be cooking something other than what they normally be cooking. Okay, if they actually gonna get some food. Okay, Meech let Duffy know that he went to Milton's funeral to plant a seed with Claude. What's up? Is it just me? And Chad, I gotta ask y'all. If I was Meech, why the hell is Angel not cooking? What the, What else does she do besides? I think you're not understanding Angel's role in this. This is why you're so shocked and surprised that she shows up. She's a hoe, girl. <laughs> I just, I just, her job I just if you're gonna be and, staying and, and him, okay? hear me out, men, men in the chat. If you're gonna be staying in my house, for said, that whole can't cook. That's what I'm. Hello, right. but so you were saying she can't cook. Her job is to suck and and sit around know. a pole. I don't know, y'all. Claude is right though. I she won't be in no kitchen. I won't jump ahead. J Dub so said, investigate. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like she should have been. I, I felt like that should have easily been. Hey, uh, Angel, throw something out there real quick. You know, do a little boom, 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 fry some chicken, do some something. Girl, she ain't never had her own kitchen. She moved from pillow to pole. She ain't got no. When she learned how to cook, I guess. I guess she. That, that if anything, that should teach you even more. I would have had some. Look, I would have hit old school. They would have. No, asked honey, me. she had. They would have had some beans her, and drink. She had she had sponsors giving her meals, honey. She ain't she ain't had no kitchen to cook in. They would have had some good old beans and franks. Old All school. she had was a bed to lie on, honey. She ain't had no kitchen to cook in. Um, so basically, he lets him know. <laughs> <laughs> Pillow to pole. <laughs> um, so basically, he lets him know that the plan is um to get Claude, to get Remy on board, and then you know take him down from the inside, and you know they're making an alliance with Techwood basically to take out the MKs. So, you know, he 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 set him up. He lining him up. He said he lining Remy up with his yeah. homeboy Claude. Yeah, which I think was a good move. I actually like the power play. I I, I was like, okay, me. Look, you see what J Dub said? That's what her job was. Not to be in no kitchen child. She is she out here in these streets she's getting info. recreation, nothing more. I don't yeah. I guess she I guess streets. Well, I guess that's why nobody felt bad how I won't jump ahead, but how it ended because she wasn't doing that. She wasn't washing the dish. She wasn't. She wasn't supposed to. Not, I think if maybe she did more, that's he, he might have took her with. He might have took her along 
had she been able to bring more to the table. All she's able to do is come on the table, but she she's she can't even bring a chair to the table. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't I don't I don't think so because Meech is out here worried about a whole a whole kingdom. He's not worried about no damn table. Okay. He worried about a kingdom. He ain't worried about her and no okay. damn table. Very well said. I give you that nails. I give you that. So now we see T, he's telling Meech that he's not worried um that he's worried about nobody rocking with them or whatever because of how things are ending for people in a crew because you know everybody's showing up unalive so meech reminds t that they don't have anything else and so basically if they gonna get this money they gotta listen to you and uh basically t is not really feeling that answer and meech tells him you know if they don't like it they can go work a regular nine to five which we know nobody's doing um and so he basically tells him he needs to pay sharon am i, am I wrong in that is that the man name Cheron, oh, you got you got names Girl. because I was like, okay, Jack, can you tell me who this person's supposed to be? Because I was so totally lost. And then tells him to share the wealth with the rest of the crew. Um, and then he gets off the phone, and the Luanda is starting to have contractions. So clearly, this baby is coming. Can we talk about? I'm sorry, I'm jumping ahead. That this is this is why they didn't get a ten. This is why this episode that fake baby. That fake baby, and it was so clearly fake, really irritating. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm jumping. That's ahead. why I didn't get a 10 trees because of the fake baby. Yes. I mean, you know what? You It got a 10 for me. You know what I loved? Oh, I, I know. It was Carl I, was in I loved it. Boy, I loved it. Anyway, um, so yeah. So basically, T tells Lawanda he's tired of attending funerals and needs to protect his people. So he needs to debt things with Henry, as we know, because I'm sorry. Henry got to go. I... I don't even think Lamar was this good. No, no, nobody's liking Henry. Nobody's, nobody's liking, liking Henry. Henry. Nobody's liking Henry's character. You know what it is? Because Henry don't sing. That's what it is. Lamar was love. You could get with Lamar because he'll sing a good gospel song. That, you know, a good song. What is it? It's because Henry don't sing. I can't stand the rain. <laughs> he was getting it. I was here for Lamar. I was like, yes, sing your song before you put him to their mercy. Um, now, J Dub said, if Meech wanted Angel to be his lady, he would have taken her out of the club. I did think I said that like last recap, so I'm going to give you that, Jada. But anyway, your thoughts on this scene at all, if any? Oh, can somebody, uh, I, Jack must have jumped out. I was going to say, can somebody please tell me who Chayron, Kron, whoever this person is supposed to be? But that's who they, who he said. He, Henry's demise is going to be her fa at her father's hands. I absolutely believe so, yeah. That's gonna happen because she's Did gonna see be the other one. Send Henry back. Lamar was believable. Right. Thank you, J Dub. I'm with you on this. I'm with you. I was like, something's just not giving with Henry, and it's not just me. Anyway, um, yeah. So, then Meech pulls up to his crib. His neighbor from across the street is hunting him down. Okay, talking about his paperwork and his what's her name? Miss Watson. She was giving, get that, got my face. She was giving, girl, you're going to get this loogie in your face. You better go somewhere. Um, she want to know about his funds, okay? And she was like, you know, HOA rules, this grass is way too damn high, okay? And, you know, asked her, basically, he asked her if they got the requirement on these strange men coming in and out of her house, to, her down, okay, while her husband is gone. I love his comebacks, though. His rebuttals were everything. She said, sir, if you don't, she said, cut the damn loan. Okay. He said, wash your damn sheets. Sheets. I said, I you said better. That. Now that in itself made, I was like, oh, they could start off real. He bad. said, you take me back to HOA. You report me. I'm reporting you to your husband. Play with me if you want to. Play with it. Now, J-Dub, this was a great question because I had the same thing watching it. Why is Meech's neighbor concerned about his income? HOA ain't like that. They're not concerned about their... But I wonder, hear me out. I don't know if you listened to the whole history lesson they gave. Um, I don't know if it was me. It was, was probably Meech or it might have been Terry. But like the actual now, you know, and they were talking about how when HOAs first started, it was basically something that was set up against us anyway. So maybe it's not like that now, but maybe it was like that prior. I don't know. I know you might be a little bit older than me, so you may have some more knowledge, but that's based off of what he said. I think that that could be the uh, thing. Uh, Miss Watts is crazy ass. Yeah, she was doing a lot. She was doing a lot. And it's, you know what? I, I'm not going to be doing a lot in her bedroom. 
Right. But anyway, so meanwhile, Charles is trying to uh, raw dog Lucille in the kitchen while she's making dinner. Uh, she seems to be in better spirits. OK, uh, Nikki walks in and asks if they're getting back together. And Lucille says, no, no. Um, that ain't happening. And, and that's just Charles saying good morning, which obviously disappoints Charles a little bit. Then the phone rings and Nikki says it's the wrong number and hangs up. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I did not connect the dots at first because I definitely thought it was her little boyfriend that called. And she just didn't want to talk oh, to him. Oh, you thought it was Nicole's little boyfriend? Yeah. Oh, I, the looks that she was giving her mama, I definitely knew who the hell it was. No, because she was giving it to her mama and her daddy, I didn't make the connection. So I definitely thought it was her little boyfriend until later on in the episode. Oh, no. I definitely thought it was Dr. Maureen. <laughs> you stupid. Uh, so then Nikki uh, runs off or whatever, and Charles questions what the hell is you know going on between them. Uh, Lucille mentions that Pastor Fleming asked her to be the assistant pastor, uh, but she feels like a hypocrite because they're not the model family. And then Charles tells her, you know, don't let shame dim her light and says he plans on putting their family back together. I know y'all want me to do it. I gotta find my way back. No, we don't. Way we don't back. Want to do that at all. <laughs> I'm look. If Jack, no. I know Jack is in the chat. If Fresh no. were here, he would want me to do it. Okay. No. Anyway. No, no, no. So he need to find they, his way back to that nasty little hole down the street. Well, he he probably should go there. Then he reminds her that, you know, there's a reason. I said, Nails is going to love this. He said, there's a reason you chose me over Dr. Maurice all these years ago. And I said, well. Because I ain't know no better. <laughs> Nigga, because I was young and dumb. That's why. The hell, I lost my sense. The hell, now I'm trying to find it back. I'm trying to find my way back to my sense. The hell. <laughs> No, I think it's because the company Meech kept there with everybody coming and going. Uh, yeah, that's true. I can see that. Uh, Nikki's mouth. Oh, God, please do not get uh, retro started, a.k.a. Jack. <laughs> he can't stand when Nikki get out of line. Lord Jesus. Nikki's mouth is getting out of hand. I knew something was up with that phone call. Uh, Jack said, crack back Lucille and oh, raw dog. No, 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 no. She need to stop this. You know you okay. wanted it, J-Dub. You wanted that Jaheen. Y'all yeah. wanted that Jaheen. Y'all yeah. needed it. It, it was perfect. It, it was perfect. Oh, if you singing it to find her way back to her damn senses. You stupid. Go ahead. I'm getting in the bed with that nasty. Oh, she going to wake up with fleas. She going to wake up with fleas. And then you know that's what they say. All right. So Terry wants to go see Henry. Okay. And try to, you know get rid of this beef okay well really said, all you did was seal diz's fate she said sir who the hell comes to a place where they outnumbered and makes demands what the hell is wrong with you okay he tries to please his, plead his case he's like you know i'm not making demands i'm trying to make a deal with you okay she told him you running around claiming you the king of detroit okay she said sir you're the court jester okay overcompensating for your lowercase d i said oh I like that. I said, I'm going to have to use that. I like, okay, Henry, you good for something. I like that. Okay. He told her, you know, I came to talk to you man to man. I think, you know, he was trying to connect. Yeah, he was trying to get on the set because he realized that that's the same. That's what she wants from her dad for the most part. She said, we can't be allies, associates, and we for damn sure can't be friends, homie. I don't, with you, okay. And you know, said, Let me stop. <laughs> she said, I got a plan to take take you down slow. And then it looked like she wanted to cut off his little pinky toe or something. Pulled her little blade out. I said, girl. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What did you I do? You, you, you done mess around and got him started. Nikki went way out of pocket. She need her ass kicked. <laughs> Mess around and got him started. Um, only thing at I least she took her mama's advice though. After she done seen all that mess, she ran upstairs and took that damn pill. Right. I, um, now I will say that I thought Terry was stupid for walking in, but I get what he was trying to do. He was trying to, you know, come in peaceful like Meech would do, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, but I just feel bad because he. I, I think this particular point is what sealed Diz's fate, in my opinion. Um. Henry, another sub, uh, insubordinate ass kid too. Let me go and get my daughter together right now. <laughs> you stupid! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> so mad. Um, so then we see Claude walking in, 
and Remy is getting his armory together. And I, for some reason, thought something was really about to go down in the scene with, uh, between Claude and Remy. Um, and he says he doesn't care if he, you know, he has to depart tonight. Y'all know what I mean by depart. I'm trying to find better words than unalive, okay? So Claude tries to reason with him, and Remy isn't feeling it and thinks that Meech is a snake, and Claude done bit the apple. I said, well, you better analogy, metaphor. Go ahead. I like that. I'm about to use that. Anyway, uh, he tells him he'll never he'll never let Meech move in like the MKs did. Claude tells him they already lost some of their squad. And, you know, the MKs have, you know, the pow pals and all the weight, uh, but they have numbers. And so if they team up with BMF, then, you know, that could be invincible. However, you know, Remy's not trying to get on board with this and basically says that. And then he says something about him, them taking over Clark Howell, which I'm going to assume is just another neighborhood or maybe another set. I, I don't, you know. Again, I'm not from this lifestyle. Um, and so basically, Claude is trying to get their city back, move better way. Um, and Remy tells him he's going to get, I guess, all the other little crews together because that's what he do because he just got enough pool to do so. And then, you know, they're going to regroup and merge all the crews. And, you know, Claude just thinks this is stupid. And he tells him, we'll come up with a better plan, but stop talking to me about a damn alliance because it ain't happening. And he's like, well, if you ain't, if we ain't doing an alliance, then you need to be a better leader. And I said, well, all right, Claude, don't, don't get caught out here like Judas. Okay. Don't do it. <sighs> what Jack say? I think tech would going to give Remy up. They are tired of him. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Um, unfortunately, Remy's days are numbered. I think that we know that I'm just, and I would love your opinion. Do you think that uh, Remy's going to be here till the final episode, or do you think he's going to be gone by, like, next episode? Or what? We're at episode six. So if we get ten, so what episode do you think we're going to lose Remy between now and ten? Well, obviously, we know not now, but between seven and ten, when do you think Remy's going to go? Because if it's my opinion, I, I think maybe eight. I think episode eight, Remy will be gone. All right. So Jen gives her condolences to Brian for, you know, him losing Kevin. And he's like, you know, if you want to help. He's looking for the big payback. He wants some payback. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. And she feels like we definitely going to get some payback. Okay. For the little homeboy that you working with. Henry. He said, yeah. Um, no. Henry is actually a he. Okay. I mean, I'm sorry. He's actually a she. The he that you're thinking of is actually a she. Okay. So then the captain comes over and was like, you know, how does a quiet night turn into, you know, one of my officers on the last? They don't know nothing. They ain't seen nothing. They don't know nothing. They don't, uh-uh. Okay. So he's like, Brian, you know what? Your suspension is over, homeboy. You fired. Pack it and go. Mm -hmm. Brian don't give a damn about life. He don't give a damn about nothing. Okay. He don't care I about mean, At this point, I'm going to be honest with you. If I was Brian... He, clearly, I, he, he is clearly he is clearly on it. He don't care about nothing. Yeah. He, look, he ain't worry about nothing. Okay. He, he ain't got nothing to lose at this point. And got up out of there. Then Jen's scary ass sang like a canary as soon as he walked out the door. Because okay. she thought it was gonna save her job. She definitely did. Um, and told him that her and Kobe, you know, were following up on a case and they discovered their BMF was beefed up with another organization that Brian is moonlighting with, led by Henry. Okay. And then he suspended her ass. What? 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 Me? Right? Me? Boo, you next. You next. I was just, oh, so I was just getting ready to say this. How long do we think J Detective Jen is going to be around? Because I, I I, think she, her time is getting ready to come up as well. I'm surprised that she's still with us. But uh, Jack said he got until eight. Let's set that as the over under <laughs> eight. Okay. J Dub said all these characters are expendable. Uh, Jack agrees. Brian should have pulled up on alive and everyone after getting fired. I agree. <laughs> I, yo, me, Jack, we think a lot alike. You got <laughs> enough to live for. Technically, you're kind of responsible for all of this. So he want, he, I think he also he wanted to go take out Henry. He also wanted to take care of that too. So he got to be here. No, first. so you you take care of everybody, and then I ain't gonna say. Oh, take well, he ain't making it out the police station if he came in there blasting. He ain't making no, he out. he don't take out the the popo. I'm saying go mess with Henry and them. Take all. Oh, up. I thought he was saying like you know after he got fired, he should have just 
off to everybody. Oh, well, that too. Um, Jack said, Jen got into a late episode nine. <laughs> okay, late episode nine. I like that. <laughs> and then, uh, so I just have to say this. This was really funny because uh, I don't know where Jeremiah is this week, um, but I'm sure he'll watch. So y'all know I always make this joke about Jeremiah being from Stars and working for Stars, right? So last week, we actually had a shout out to uh, Ryder Lee, um, which is actually a, one of the writers for BMF. And he jumped in the chat. And because we and, didn't know and, who and he is, he wanted to tussle with his ass. And because I, we didn't know who he was, and he was throwing out these crazy theories, I was like, "No, I don't think so. No, Mister Lee, I don't know." Only for somebody, I, and I feel bad because I can't look at it right now. Only for somebody to jump down in the comments after we got off and was like, "Y'all do know that's one of the writers of BMF," and I was like, "Oh, oh." You yes, know, I believe. It. Yeah, like I believe it. anything you Jeremiah like tussle, but you want to tussle with the wrong one, right? But I want to tussle you with the wrong one. So I just thought that was funny. And shout out to uh, Michael Lee for jumping in the chat last week. That was really dope. Um, so yeah, he said, "Nope, <laughs> she's gone." Hey, D. <laughs> Look, she's like, "Yes, retro." Um, all right. So then we left off with Tinder DT. He's having a nightmare, you know about Markeisha getting popped and waking up and, you know, he wakes up in a frenzy. I mean, I, I mean, was it really a, totally a nightmare? I mean, because even in his dream, he was knocking her down. I mean. Well, it wasn't totally a night. He was, anyway, y'all know, I'm going to be honest. Angel and Markeisha can go for me, okay? I was, I'm happy how everything played out now. We can just usher out Markeisha somehow, even though I know that's not part of their real story because they still cool. But again, this some stuff is not real. So we can write her off. Um, anyway, so basically she's questioned like why he didn't tell her she was uh, he was going to Atlanta. What do you say? Russia. That was a nightmare. That was yeah, but he said I'm tired of her too. See, this uh -huh. is about Jack. He's talking about her getting off was a was a fantasy for him. Um, so anyway. Yeah, he's been all over the place since his return. And he tells, you know, he tells her his concerns about Henry trying to destroy his business. Markeisha lets him know that Henry is a second generation dealer. Um, so I will say Markeisha and Angel play the same position where they deliver needed information. I will say they're helpful in that right, but they're not to be trusted is what for what I've been saying from the jump. But anyway, so then. Um, you know, apparently we learned that uh, Blaze, a.k.a. Braxton Hartnabrig, is also Frank Andreas. He doesn't look like an Andreas to me, but his name apparently is Frank Andreas. Um, and yeah, and he's a form. we know he's a former cop. He turned kingpin and he also has political connections. Um, and Terry starts to, you know, this jogs his memory and he says he remembers K-9 and Pat used to talk about him. And so Markeisha basically encourages him to just go over Henry's head and just go talk to her daddy because, you know, she has a complex. Um, oh, J.W. Lala said Lala, that Lala plays should be They're eliminated. They're bonding over, over the hate for Lala. Goodness. Look, they said, you are on point with this. So can I, I, okay, guys, I'm with you on somewhat. I feel bad because Lala, I feel like, I do feel like from when I watched her on The Shy and what is it, from Power to now, let's just give her her credit where credit's due. She's gotten better. I think that she might be better than Mary at this point from all the shows that she's done. Like acting? Yes. Oh, yeah, I, do think, I do think her acting is elevating. It, but it sucks because she is always typecasting. She plays like, she, yeah, she plays these like sexy roles. and Right. And so mm -hmm. it doesn't give her that much versatility as far as what she can do acting wise so i don't i'm let's give her a pass y'all i i hear what you're saying but let's you know even though y'all don't give a damn but i'm just telling she you can't <laughs> her character, but you see she's gonna twerk on the fence she she just she she can't oh, oh no no jack retro look what oh wait retro is this la la hate or is this character hate and you right is this marquisha because i don't like marquisha either but I can admit that I like Lala. What is going on? Oh my god! Oh wow, that's You're hilarious. Two level. I'm no. I'm gonna give her more than two B. Yeah, I'm gonna give her. I would no shade. I would she give Mary J. I would Mary. give Mary J. Two B. And some people in the chat may be upset about that, but I'm just going. That's I just that's what it is. I don't know. Some of the people in Two B is pretty good. 
used to it. <laughs> he I said, oh, no, I loved her on MTV. Okay, right. So it's just, it's, you're right. So maybe he just that likes her in, like, he just doesn't like her acting. Some people can't cross over. Some people just can't cross. Oh, my God. Why does MJB have to always catch a straight train? <laughs> She always do it. She always do it. I mean, because you got to point out the She's obvious. Fully loaded for MJ. And Beasley. you know what? I don't like when people be like, okay, some people say Diana can't act. I think she's a good actress. But people say Diana can't act either. I don't feel that way. He said, no, her acting is horrible, if we can even call it acting. Wait, who are we talking about? He's talking, talking about, about uh, Lala, Lala or MJB, huh? No. Yeah, are you talking about Lala or oh, MJB? That's Virgo. <laughs> Yeah, that's Virgo, right? Or is that what? The sign. What is that? Yo Yona? Yonya? Oh, oh, you're talking about Yonya. No, her acting is horrible. Hey, Yonya, welcome. Uh, and let please uh, oh, forgive la, me if I switch your name. Um, her acting is horrible. No, I, I can't I, even call it. Y'all are really name. cracking up in the chat. It's like, and it I, I, I love said she's not an actress, she just knows people. Okay, that's that y'all. You know what? We're, we're gonna move on. We're right. Move on. From, I feel from strongly Lala, about that. Okay. Because I love me some Lala. All right. Goodness. All right. Yana. So, oh, Yana. Okay. 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 Is that Virgo? Yana? I think that is Virgo. I, I got to know. I got to know because, you know, we're going to love you for another reason. All right. So at the repass, um, I'm trying to find another reason out. to love you, Yana. That's what it is. You said what? What'd you say? I said you're just trying to find another reason to love her. I mean, other than the fact, you know, I I have to because she's she's hating on Lala, so <laughs> oh, okay. I'm trying to find another. another point. No, no. Um, all right. So at the repass, uh, Meech found out that the Red Dogs got last. Um, you know, he says, it's "Oh great. no, it's Scorpio." She said, "It's Scorpio." Okay, so uh, yeah, they're so close together. Um, okay, so basically, he says his grace. He says, "Fuck stacks," but Glock, um, Glock. And everybody else who tries to get in their way, amen. I was like, well, if that ain't a word, okay, amen. Now, he told his crew that, you know, they lost a lot of leaders, and it's time to rise to the occasion, okay? He told Tina, look, we need some more clients. And he told Duffy that whoever Tina bring in, okay, get them taken care of, do what they need, get, get what needs to be done, okay, before they get down with anything, all right? And then tells everybody to eat up because they're going to celebrate, go to the club. And you know, celebrate the time left that they got on this earth. Okay. Hey, share my love. Welcome, welcome. Um, so yeah, this particular again, they had some fried chicken and some biscuits. Maybe they stopped by the Popeyes, but again, I felt like Angel, I guess Tina couldn't do it because she's actually putting in work. But you know, again, I just, you know. Be of service. Do something but besides just. She is serving. She's oh god. The street, okay, girl. we ain't gotta go down that road again. She's serving okay. the street. She is doing her job. She All is right. serving the streets. So that's this next she, thing, that's what she do. You stupid. Brian's gonna walk into Henry's garage. Um, and he walking whooping ass and taking names. All right. All by his He ain't. He. I was like, okay, Brian. That's how we gonna do it. So then he, you know, cocks his pow pow on her and is ready to, you know. Light her up, and then he snuck up on by Braxton, right. Greg, <laughs> aka Blaze. Uh, then Tyson, the cousin, isn't far behind as well. He tells Brian he knows his daughter is complicated, but he can't let him basically unalive her. So Brian tells him that Kevin is gone because of her, and then Blaze tells him, that, you know, that they're going to teach Brian a lesson, and then it just it goes black. I mean, I felt like that was messed up though. I felt like it was messed up. I mean, Jack. Let's, Jack. right? That's what that's what I said. All right, child. My thing is, I get it. Yeah, he should have came in like he wanted to take out your daughter. But like, have some compassion. Once he told you, like, she the reason that your whole son is gone. I don't know. Put him on time out or something. Nah, not nah, because at this point, so you, you gonna know, go beat his ass after he done got. His son unalive because of this little hard-headed little heifer? Because I think what he was hoping, and maybe I'm wrong, y'all can let me know in the chat. I think Blaze's point was 
I realize that you're upset and you're going to continue to come after my daughter because you want to avenge your son. So maybe now I'm going to be honest. I don't know why they left and I hate to jump ahead, but I don't know why they left him alive because he's going to come back in some way, shape or form. So I don't understand. I, I didn't really understand that part. Um, I thought they would. I think because it would be another cop that's gone. Well, right at that moment. Well, I don't. They don't know that he's not a cop anymore. But remember, he had the whole conversation with uh, Henry about how uh, she took out a cop and all this other stuff, and now they're losing all this these benefits that they had. So that could be part of the reason he was a cop. Okay, I, I see that. I see that. I just I was just like because it, I thought he was like just hurting him, right? So that basically he could be like, look, I know you want to come after my daughter, but this is a warning shot. Don't try it again. But then you have to know at this point, this man has nothing to lose. So he's going to come back. So that's why I just thought it was kind of dumb to keep him alive. But anyway, um, Yana said, question, does anyone else think Brian's going to help BMF cut Henrietta's water off? I don't I'm, I got to start using that. Thank you. Cut the water off because of what she did to Kevin. Fresh use it all the time. I know, but that I... I don't know why it resonated when Yana said it. That that's just what it was. And then uh Jack said, nah, that's not gonna happen. Uh J Dub said Bryant didn't hold up his end of the deal. Protection for Kevin goes away. And see, but J Dub, to your point, and you haven't been in like past chats or whatever, but what he should have done was teamed up with Terry. When Terry came to him and said, Yo. Let's work together on this. And he completely shut him down because of his pride or whatever the case. That's what really messed him up. He should have paired up with Terry. And maybe, and hey, look, at least Marquisha is good for something because at least she know how to go to these judges, go to these people, sweet talk them, and get what she needs done for Terry. So I don't know. That's just, and she looked like she might be able to cook a meal. Uh, Yana said, I'm so intrigued at where this I part was <laughs> Where this part of the story will go next. And that's all I have thought about since I watched this episode. I hear you. I, I am interested in that. I got that from Fresh. I love that saying. Oh, okay. Got <laughs> it. Uh, J-Dub said, Bryant hates Meech and Terry for life. I know. I and that's stupid because they it could have benefited him. It really could have. Uh, Yana said, yes, he should have. Right. Uh, Henry is going to keep crippling Blaze's connections, his rep or his daughter. He is going to. He is going to go with his rep. It's law. So basically, he about to take the daughter out. Um, okay, Blayton Truth said they messed up in season one by showing us that Bryant is obsessed with arresting T and Meech 20 years later. I want him gone. I agree with you because I think I often have this conversation with Jack and, um, and Fresh as well where I'm like, yo, are we going to get rid of Bryant? And they're like, no, he's going to be with us till the end. And that, yeah. That's annoying because I at this point they should have just knocked him off. Yana said, Yeah, that makes sense. Well, so then um, oh, go ahead, Nels. All right. It's your boy Duff. My, oh, my, my fault. I had background noise. I had to get rid of. I'm sorry, y'all. All right. So on the way to the club, you know, because we said they was going out to celebrate. The red dogs and pulled Duffy over, pulled him out of the car. Okay, they going back and forth. They don't put handcuffs on this man, and they locking his ass up. Can I be honest with you? What? And this is gonna sound so terrible. I definitely saw this scene going another way if Meech and Tina weren't watching. And maybe I'm reaching, and maybe because of the culture, like police culture in today's time. Mm -hmm. But I definitely saw this scene going a different way if they if they didn't see them watching. I don't know. The Red Dogs is giving me. They didn't really give a damn who was watching. They tried to sick the dog on them. And I don't oh, understand it. I've never been in this situation, but how was this going to work out? Was he going to jump in the car with like, how did that make sense? Y'all let, let me, me know in the chat. Let me say something. It couldn't have been me. It couldn't have been me because they would have been at my car because I would have ran that damn dog over. Yo, I said I would have just put that in reverse real quick. Er, and then I go ahead and went back over his <laughs> and I, Lord, Peter, please do not come for me. But yes, I would have reversed that car and then kept on going. Mm -mm. Did you see? Did you see the TikTok where the girl outran the tow truck? 
the tow truck driver was trying to get her on the thing and he backed up to her car she went in reverse <laughs> out the parking lot it was great and people were like oh, i did see that i did see that <laughs> that's what that would have been i would have put it at you reverse before again <laughs> oh lord i'm sorry y'all i'm going off topic um Jack said, I did too. I just thought Duffy was going to leave us. I really did. I really did. Uh, true. I'm at, when you get the whole, you got a whole other charge, right? Um, J Dub said, run it over police dog. It's like running over the police. <laughs> I, I don't, you know, J Dub, thank you for coming through what, and dropping what knowledge. In the street? What he doing in the street? Right. I, I would have been like the dog was in this. He ain't looked both ways before he crossed the street. Right. He wasn't in the crosswalk. Look, if it was a deer with a shield, you got it and keep on going. <laughs> you got to hit him and keep on going. Is this okay? The ki is. <laughs> oh wow, Yana said you're literally gonna get life for that dog. Well, damn, y'all. Thank you for telling me not to ever run over. If God forbid, I ever be in that situation. Uh, please, thank you <laughs> for giving me that advice. He didn't look both ways as wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. So then we see Lucille come in. She's having a conversation with Nikki. I'm not going to lie. Um, She just tells her she wants her to be protected. I really felt bad for uh, Nikki at this moment. I'm sure the fathers in the chat may not feel any type of way. But uh, Nikki says that, you know, basically mama you need these more than i do and brings up how the good doctor has been calling a lot lately and that's when i was like oh that's what's going on so then lucille lets her know that she will not be disrespectful in her house and then nikki says she doesn't need birth control and when asked for an explanation on why she felt she needed it lucille tells her she doesn't want her to end up oh. stuck like her and i felt that I, you could tell that that hit different for nikki like basically saying like you wish you could take this whole thing back that you got. My, you know what though? For me, I would have been like, if I was Nikki, I'd have been like, you talking about me because I ain't the first born. You wanted me here. You stupid, right? You you <laughs> <have some laughs> born to me. Look, I didn't. I, she, there, I will say that there's a. It does look, look like there's a good age gap between Terry and and uh, what you call it and Nikki. Exactly. You could have got birth control after me, okay? But look, oh, you wanted true. me here, so look, you ain't talking about me. So then I Nikki, no type of way. Right. So then Nikki tells her she's um, not going to end up stuck like that because she's not having sex and tells her to stop worrying about her so much and that, you know, she has bigger things to worry about. And I said, "Woo!" And then her mother tells her, just take the damn pills. Half of is basically what she said. Um, oh, uh, let's see. Nikki is 100. Share my love. I absolutely agree. Stuck working a drive through at Wendy's. Well. Well, I mean, damn, J-Dub, when you put it like that. Uh, Yana said, Phew, when she said that, it hurt me for her because no, mom, she will never forget that you basically didn't want them. Thank you. I Like I tell you, that hit different. Uh, I, I ain't th I ain't think that was to Nikki. I think that was to Meech. That was a shot at Meech. But, it, he, but she said it to Nikki. And that's, regardless, you're saying that you may regret some of your children. You could have even stuck in the marriage. That, look, that's really what I thought about. I'm stuck. Well, but with you this know, man here, who was the father of my damn kids, is out here messing with Nancy down the street, using my cast iron skillet. I hear right. you. I hear you. <laughs> Them cast iron skillets don't be cheap, y'all. I'll be you painting know? people's walls and shit. After, after you done seasoned it all good and right, that ain't cast. Uh, Jack said Lucille was extra, but Nick, look, I said the fathers are gonna come way in. But Nikki, you are reckless with speech. But she was right. <laughs> she was right. J Dub said Charles got them living in an unfinished drywall home. See, that would never be J Dub would never let his a family live like that. Not ever. Not ever. He only wanted to put it together because Dr. Maurice got in the damn picture. And you see, he done stopped. Well, Yana said, yeah, nah, either way, in a child's mind, right? Regardless. You did not want us, and you see us as a trap. Counseling for years. I'm with you, Yana. I'm with you on that. Uh, Jack says, side note, Charles is the reason she worked at Wendy's. He was spending all the money on music equipment. Not, so not the reason, you're the reason we're in the poorhouse. Thank you, um, 
He can ping retro, aka Jack. That's what I'm saying. That little T. He can put the little nasty bitch down the street in the poorhouse. Huh? He can put the little nasty bitch down the street in the poorhouse. That's what I'm saying. Charles can go. What'd you say? They always do the ones, Ron, that what that build them up. Mm. Why does J Dub said why does Charles have to get touchy feely with his friends? I don't know. You know, y'all not y'all y'all not helping Charles's case right now because I already can't. Because you know, him. look, J Dub is coming in here and just I can't stand that man. Okay, I was gonna say you we just can catch a stray, right? You just getting her all wound up. Fire, she, can't stand, she can't stand raw dog Charles. And Yana said Charles was raggedy. I agree. Damn, y'all. Agree. You know, I need a fan that says agreed. Agreed. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> um, all right. So apparently, yeah, we talked about it. Brian got his ass whooped. They just left his ass in the middle of the street. Um, yeah, they did. So then Terry, he went to go see Blaze. Apparently, Blaze already know about him. Okay. He knows about BMF. He respects the hustle. Okay. Terry let him know that he offered uh Henry a proposition of peace. Okay. And she basically spat in his face, really tried to cut off his pinky toe. Okay. Blaze said, What you expect me to do about it? That ain't my business. That's family politics. That's okay. Different. Terry's like, maybe you know you could convince her. Okay, so work with me. Basically, this is this is this is good for the both of us, and I'll offer you a big ass discount. Okay, and then we can be counting stacks instead of bodies. All right. Hmm. Blaze told Terry, you know, you seem like a smart kid. All right. But family politics is a little bit more complicated than one of the enemy. All right, which means I ain't getting in the middle of that. Okay. But he did say, you know what? I'll see what I can do. Mm. It's given. I don't really give a damn. Yeah, no. Um, well, actually, no. I definitely took from that meeting that he was gonna go have a conversation with Henry. I def he might he have a conversation, but I don't think he's he's not gonna force her like he did with uh Brian. No, he was he didn't play no, he didn't have plans on forcing her until she got crazy out her mouth and then he was like look do as i say not as i do heifer um share my love said maurice is being extra sending flowers to the house and lucy oh not lucille not lucille is not divorced yet i call oh, no, calling look, hold, on. hold on i can't do it as good as nails is it, is I it know. the right way is it the right way share my love that was some shade i know we're not calling lucille loose when she ain't slept with nobody else, and all she did was get a yet. number and accept some flowers. We just ain't seen it yet. I, I definitely think she done let him tell. I'm okay but. with it. I'm okay with it. it. J Dub said, if it wasn't for Meech, their home would be in foreclosure. This is true. This oh, is true. Th th see, this, th thank you, J Dub. Oh, hey, Courtland, where you been? Hey, Courtland. Welcome. welcome. Uh, Jack said, she said he was buying guitars often. He's probably buying something else too with his nasty ass. Oh, uh, Blaze, share my love said Blaze and Terry could probably work together. They could, um, but Terry would end up getting himself not. Yes, the Lucille of it all. Goodness, share my love. Mm, right. Mm, mm, mm. So, so whose side are you on? <laughs> <laughs> she said the right side of things. Okay. That, no, Charles is not the right side. She's saying be divorced first before you be out here letting he this wasn't. man send flowers to your house. He wasn't. Oh, he was. I, I share my love. Lucille has been kissing and daydreaming. She's already cheating in her mind. In her mind, not physically. That man cheated physically. That's true. That is true. That's basically now, a wet dream, boo. That's that's nothing. You stupid. So now we see me. She's pacing back and forth. He still hasn't been able to get in touch with Duffy. Angel tells him that Greeny has been missing for a while, too, and that there were some ADAs at the club. So she plans or offers an ear hustle. She actually plans to do something for See, him. That's her job. That's what she. That, that's what I'm saying. That's what she do. She be in the streets. Right. She right. The so streets. Meech thinks Duffy might be on the run. And if they start talking across states, then he's done. Um, so Miss Watson shows up banging at the door, demanding Meech pay to get his place cleaned up. Uh, to HOA guidelines or they'll uh, put a lien out on his property. Angel comes out. She tells him it's a respectable neighborhood with rules. And then uh, Meech lights the Warner on fire, basically tells her, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. That's basically how that went. That's basically what happened. I mean, yeah. 
I mean, oh, he's God. Are y'all like still going back and forth? No, you, no, you missed you miss retros. You miss oh, retros. he said, now wait. She did, she did kiss and, him. and she did. But guess what she didn't do? Come. Okay. And I will say that, Luce, if she hasn't done it yet. I'm cool with it. If that's what she wants to do, I'm cool with it. And every time she sees she's him, separated. She's like, no, I'm very much still in a marriage. I, this man still lives in my house. So... And that's the problem. He need to go. One way or another. Mm. Share my love said, assistant pastor, Lucille going to be reckless in the pulpit. Hear me, hear me out, share my love. Can't no be worse than uh, the girl that Charles was holding hands with at the restaurant writing a song for Lucille that she thought he was smashing in the first place on the pulpit when he was up there just smiling and cheesing as they singing for Jesus. So, Because that right there, that was too friendly for me. He would have got called out like I, I understand it's for the Lord, but we look give her a church. Don't even give her a church hug. Give her a handshake and move on. Okay. Um, Cortland said oh. if, if Lucille gave Charles what he wanted, maybe he wouldn't have cheated. Oh, 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 Cortland. I'm I'm not gonna go you there. Know what? Because no, Cortland, you know. I am not gonna go there because Cortland. Cortland, let's not do it. Let's not do Let's it. Let's not do it. Okay, because okay. you, can, you can be giving because. it up, and, and I can't speak for, you know, but speaking the words of the show, but in life, okay, men will do it regardless. You could be doing everything Let me. and yeah. anything, and that's just what they want to do. And and women too, but that yeah, that's 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 not gonna fly. That's not a good excuse. That's not a good excuse. Orlane, we will we will we not will, not we, not to ruin your oh you we'll weren't getting hustling. enough, so you were ready to throw your family down the drain because you you can't find a bottle of lotion and find a hand available. Nah, that that and, doesn't and it's because he don't know how to protect and provide because she's working all these them hours that she's too tired, Kim. Okay. Well. That part, look, you don't, don't get us fired up, Courtney. Okay? Look, I, look I, I don't want to tussle tonight. I don't want to tussle. Well, let's not tussle. Let's not tussle. tussle. I like you, boo. I, we love you, Courtney. I don't, I don't we love tussle. you. <laughs> All right. Blade Truth said, do y'all remember when Charles left the house in season one for days and weeks mad? Yes, I do remember that. And I guess I guess he was staying in the church basement. I don't know. But why can't he leave now? Blade Truth, you, you better. You better. Okay. Perry. <laughs> yes, I never thought about that. Um, Share My Love said, yes, she did. She's going to sleep with him. I'm cool with it. Nels has no issues with it. Mm -mm, not at all. J-Dub said, inappropriate. What's inappropriate. What's <laughs> what? What, J-Dub? Give Sister Riley a fist bump and keep pushing. Right. Out there, you got to. What was it, J-Dub that said why he's so damn friendly with his friends? I'm with you. But see, me and J-Dub Pisces, that's what it is. We can be friendly people, but we know when too friendly is too much. J, see, this is, this is why. See, go on, go on. It's hard to fulfill your wifely duties when your house is getting foreclosed. And it's hard to even want to. Look, J-Dub, you trying to, you, you try to come around turn that water on. It's and come hard to turn that week. water on when you got other things on your mind. Okay, I'm look. Gonna, am I going to live? The offer's on the table, J-Dub. I'm just saying, if you if you want to come out of retirement and come up here next week, because you, you're giving it. You're giving it, okay? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Um, that hand-holding is inappropriate. Thank you. Thank you. And, th and that comes from a whole man, okay? Now, Period. go ahead, Nell. All right, so um, T brought in... I, I did not get the names, because it was it was too much for me. Who? Um, what? It's T and Hoop, and he brought in Worm and Spider. He brought in Wanda's people, okay, to help Worm and Spider, that's their name. Yeah, that's their name. Um, <laughs> okay, basically, you know, he's like, they loyal, you know, basically, he tells his homeboy, teach them what they need to know, okay? Um, then he pulls this to the side um, and basically lets him know that they're about to get more fiends under their belt, okay, once Blaze gets on board. So... You know, he's going to need some space to, you know, whip up what they do. All right. So he lets them know that he's starting a burger joint. He's going to have some extra um, equipment that, you know, he can help with the process. Then he calls everybody together, lets them know that he appreciates them, thanks them, you know, for rocking with them and gives them some jackets and some tickets. And 
Apparently, he's still just a cheapskate because <laughs> these tickets is way some nosebleed seats. I'm not gonna lie to you. Meech is out here pawning his stuff, okay, to give his to give his crew some money, and this man is giving them some nosebleeds. And this is why T was the he's out here buying whole houses, right? This is why T was the downfall of this organization. <laughs> we clearly see many examples. Um, Yana, I love it. Water ain't coming on when you don't know where you're going to be laying your head. And I get what you're saying about that, baby. Okay. That that part. Uh, J-Dub says, I appreciate it. I will consider it scheduling for me. Well, I hope so. Because you are giving tonight. All right. Um, so then we see that uh, Meech is picking up an order when Claude comes in and lets him know that he wants to talk. He tells him um, that, you know, he ain't there to start nothing. Won't be nothing. But uh, he came alone like he did, you know, and he wants to know how the pure weight is going to help his crew. And Meech said, because everyone's going to eat. So he tells them they'll be partners forever instead of competitors and says that basically you owe me for that robbery. But what I'll do is I'll wipe your slate clean behind Remy. Um, and so Claude talks about his history with Remy, how he grew up with him, like that was his brother. And that, how Remy basically tried to treat him how Meech was treating Rip. Like he wanted him, basically didn't want him to be in the lifestyle, but... You know, he found his way into it anyway. And so he, Meech tells him that Melvin was, you know, unalive because of Remy and that he needs to go. And so Claude promises to reach out to some other people, but he wants Meech to show love for ATL, not greed. I didn't really understand this part. Maybe y'all could break it down in the chat. I was just like, it's about money. But I, I guess I get it because then Meech is going to dip off and leave it, whatever. So Meech tells him to talk to some of the other crews and then circle back and come talk to him. So maybe y'all can break that down for me. And then um, Yana said, Terry taking care of too many households. Yana, I'm still mad that uh, Markeisha, look, I was about to say Lala. I'm still mad that Markeisha sitting up in that house that she wouldn't let him live in. That's what, he only taking care of, what other household he taking care of? His apartment. Remember, he has his own apartment. That's him. That's I mean, that's not really a household. And I think, I'm pretty sure Lawanda's still with her mama. So he's taking care of two households. You mean his own and and Marquis? Yeah, his don't count as a household. That's just him. That's a bachelor pad girl. Cortland said, "Do y'all think that Remy may off Claude before him and Meech can work together?" Mm. I can see that. If again, because he's coming, he's definitely come. I think Remy senses the Judas spirit. Unless Remy get off before then. We'll see. But like we said, we don't anticipate Remy being here by episode eight. So that's only two episodes away. So I don't know. I don't know. I think he's going to end up working with Claude. I think so, too, because I think that just it makes his expansion. Um, Yana said, me, too. He got to be paying something for his baby mama, probably throwing her mom something on the bills. Probably to keep her, you know, but it. Just the way T is living, we won't go there because I don't want to go down that that rabbit hole because I hate it. I hate it. I hate what's going on. I it, it, and if it is a true story and this is how he really did that girl, oh, it just sickens me. It just sickens me. Go on now. All right. So Blaze told Henry that you know Terry came to see him. She felt disrespected because she felt like the only reason why he came to him is because it was two men, even though he said man to man, but he whatever. Um, now he also told her that, you know, she's there to make amends. Okay. Cause she caused some cover by taking out a cop. Um, and now basically everything is gone. Um, now she was like, homeboy, that's your market. Okay. And he told her that he would have, that she would have no market share if it wasn't for him. She said, Brian would have blown this whole shit up. Okay. If she wasn't five steps ahead of him. He said, how did I raise someone so unlike me? I mean, sorry, it happens all the time, but whatever. Okay. He was like, I raised you to be the smartest, prettiest, most cultured. Okay. And look at you. She was like, yeah, look at me. This is who I am. This is who I am. I'm not going to lie to you. In this moment, I was like, that's all Henry wants is to be accepted so bad by her daddy for who he, she is. I'm not trying to be funny. Whatever she wants to identify as, she just wants to be accepted. And her dad is just not feeling it because this is not the prim and proper princess that he was trying to raise. Yeah, he basically said, F all that. 
Okay. He don't care about none of that that she said. He told her to make peace. Okay. Before she ends up losing another cousin in this war she started. She told him, stay out of my business and we good. He said, the only reason why I didn't tell Terry yes, okay, was out of courtesy to you. Okay. And you can't extend the same thing to me. So he returns um, to her cousin, basically, what? Oh, he turns to her cousin, basically said, Terry's playing with fire. You know, he noticed the way um, Terry, no, it was her. Okay. Excuse my Siri notes. Okay. Siri be messing me up. She turns to the cousin. Okay. And basically says, you know, Terry's playing with fire. Now, apparently he noticed the way uh, Terry and um, Diz were looking at each other and suggested, you know, that they might be tight now. So now Terry's definitely feeling some, I'm sorry, Henry's feeling some type of way and feeling like, you know, she's going to have to take care of Diz. Yep. She realizes he's the ops. And I was like, oh, well, he's gone. Um, Yana said, me too. He got, he got to be paying something for his baby mama, probably throwing her mama something on the bills. Mm -hmm. And then said, cause she can't be this stupid in love with this ninja to the point he got Lala in a house. It's got to be money. I agree, Yana. Um, uh, I, I think she's also stupid. I definitely think that she's definitely stupid. I was going to say, Yana, Nels is not the one. She's not here for long. No, I mean, because, I mean, you got pregnant again by this man. Um, you are back in a relationship with this man. He's still going to throw you money for the bills. I told you. you know, she's going to go around. You don't around. need to be in a relationship with him to do that. You literally took this man back after he left you for this older woman. Brought, um, brought her to his parents' house. Which you there? Yeah, no, she, she's, she's definitely stupid. She's definitely stupid. <laughs> she can get the money without doing all of that. And without sharing the D. So, yeah, she definitely stupid. Uh, Yana also said her mouth, uh, is talking about Henry, her mouth looks so nasty to me. I hate when they do close-ups because she's not <laughs> ugly. I agree. It is hard. What? It is hard. <laughs> Courtland said, Blaze let Henry decide if they would make peace. He didn't have to. I did notice that he was trying to give her the choice versus like, look, you just going to do this like he did with Bryant. And Yana said, Nails is the truth. I love it. <laughs> I was going to say, she'll give a good word. She'll get on her pulpit, okay? <laughs> a good word. Uh, Jack said, Henry is way too much, too extra. I'm over her. We're going to get there. It, it is giving too much. Again, I want Lamar and his songs back. And I'm sorry. I know y'all said it ain't going to happen. He's a crack or a head or whatever. But anyway, so now... Lucille's getting all dolled up for dinner with Maurice. Charles tells her she looks beautiful. And then he and then it's basically like, where are you going? And she's like, I'm going out to dinner with Dr. Maurice. She he likes it and I would have been out. He says that he appreciates her honesty and he's going to give her the space that she needs to figure I, things listen, out. I'm not lying to you. I'm just not answering your question. Who the hell is you to me anymore? <laughs> My future ex-husband. Don't ask me no questions. You stupid. Cortland said Henry was close to making peace before she noticed what Diz and Terry did right. Right. Uh, Jack said, I don't like her barber. <laughs> I can't stand that girl hair. I can't stand her hair. I cannot stand her hair. And then when she put in that ponytail. No, are and... terrible people. Oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. God. terrible. I cannot. <laughs> and look at a grin. Just a grin. <laughs> Y'all are terrible. Uh oh, her haircut is terrible. Um, you was done? Yeah, that was it. All right, so Angel doing what she got to do. You know, she out here in these streets. She giving the lab dances, okay? She found out that Greeny got picked up by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation for fraternizing with these thugs and dealers, as she said. Okay, Mr. Young tried to tell her, you know, he wasn't giving her no specifics. Okay, but she made sure she got that information. Okay, she, she did what she had to do, and she got that information. Right. So then we see this quick scene. It's going to be very quick. That Detective Jen goes to her daddy's restaurant. She's crying about Amberson. She was like, my sister. If that's what, if that's what it was giving, sister, because that was not what it was giving to the audience. We've talked about this for weeks. We definitely thought we were going to get something else, okay? So whatever. If you say she was like your sister. And um, so she talks about her troubles on the job. She tells uh, tells him that, you know, she has to, and, you know, he tells her that she needs to decide if what she wants is worth waiting through the fire for. And I'm going to just say, I, for some reason, I'm getting the vibe that she wants Bryant 
And this is what she's fighting for because her daddy has already tried to tell her, oh, you should get with Brian. I don't understand. Y'all jump in and explain it in the chat because I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, this is when I need, this is when I actually need Lee to pop up and give me some inside info on what this is supposed to be. Uh, J Dub said Lucille needs to stop sleeping with Charles to stop mixed signals. I agree. You should have never did that. I was so disappointed. J Dub, oh, between you and Nels, oh, we would have this thing on fire, okay? <laughs> I agree. We this thing on fire. It couldn't have been me because he wouldn't even been in the house to get none. Well, that part. Um, Share My Love said, I never trusted you with me. We here. We here. I see you. You see me. Why would you? She's a hoe. I don't understand. She chose up. This is what they do. Donna said she didn't trust her either. <sighs> Don't Greeny, give this girl too much credit. Portland said, Granny probably gave them everything about Meech, everything that Meech told him. Oh, absolutely. We know that that's happened. Um, Granny has went and snitched and said some things that I will get there because I feel like he said some stuff that wasn't even true. But go ahead, Nails. Oh, Cortland, hold on. Let me get to this because this, this is right. I absolutely think that's going to happen, Cortland. I'm with you. I'm going to ride with you on this one. I definitely see that happening. All right, so Duffy finally gets home, um, you know, because you know what's uh, Red Dogs had him. Um, right. Angel, let and me he's know. all messed up. He all beat up, badly beaten and stuff. Um, Angel basically let Meech know that uh, Greeny was arrested and implicated, and him Meech in you know the shooting for Big Mike. Can I say that? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I said it now. I can't go back and we're live. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and they impaneled um, a secret grand jury and GBI is basically looking for him. Um, Laz gets there and tells him that, you know, they're trying to get him to testify against me. Who the hell is Laz and where did he come from? That's what my notes say. Who the hell is Laz? I don't know, but I said his name earlier. No, I'm I'm here with it. I just was trying to figure out. I don't remember hearing you say his name earlier. Listen, but. first of all, you know, I suck at names. So if they say their names and they knew to me, I'm gonna just think I just didn't remember it. So I'm gonna need I'm gonna need somebody, Jack, or somebody to give me some because I don't know who Laz is for real. Where did he can't was he has he been down? Because I just but, feel, they, it's like it's like spider you know, and worm. They you just know what I thought. Yeah. You know what I thought about um with this. Scene right here though how Laz came and was like oh they trying to get me to implicate you in this BS murder mm -hmm. this is what um, your boy should have did be Mickey yes this is what yep. Mickey should have did so okay. we did, so we still have some eye candy every week yeah, yeah. that's what be Mickey should have did so basically Meech got the crew together and told him that you know they got to get prepared for how everything is going to come at them okay Tina said that she got leads on Ty's old lawyer so Meech is going to put them on retainer. He tells them, you know, if they get smashed up, basically call the lawyers. They're going to tell them what to do. Um, and basically, he's going to keep things going, but he's going to be in the loop. Okay. Um, he told them that he's not abandoning them. He's still going to have his operations in motion um, and keep, you know, keep things going, send the money. And um, basically, they can't slack off. Angel told him that she wanted to go, and he was like, girl, you strong. You'll be fine. You'll be all right. You can stay here, okay? And now, I'm not going to lie. This was kind of wrong, okay? We, we're at the main scene for me of this episode, okay? Yeah, so then I she didn't think it was told him that, you know, like, you can't be mad, like, if I choose up, okay? Because, you know, I heard Glock pays well. And he like, damn. Like, that's what you're doing? You, 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 you ain't loyal, Okay, you out my you are out my loyal circle, my circle of trust. Okay, basically now you got to go find somewhere else to stay. Okay, sir, I, you really, I mean, okay, I, so hear me out. Giving her too much. At first, I was like, oh well, damn, Meech, you just gonna lay it on like that? Like, nah, bitch, I ain't taking nobody with me. Like it was, I was like, damn, Meech. He won't go give her no hope. And then when she was like, but I've never been, a, you know, I've never been, I can't, I've always been on my own. He was like, you got to be strong. Girl. Like, I was like, God, Meech. But oh, I, I, think she, I think she said something like, you promised me you wouldn't leave me or, leave me or something like, like that. that. But then when he, when she said what she said, the way that he flipped, I said, oh, oh, I ain't mad about it. But I was like, well, there you go. 
that's you know i feel like that's the way it should have been from the beginning i don't ever think like i don't think he should have ever let her move in the house remember when i said um when she was about to go down on him and i was like that's really where he should have left it but he wanted to he wanted to put it in her you forgot what she is and what she does i feel like she just shows up that's just what it was Mm. no she's not supposed to be loyal sir just like and you wasn't supposed to be catching feelings the way you was wasn't look you wasn't supposed to be trying to turn a, into a housewife exactly now um angel threatened to go with glock she's dirty yes um j dub said unpopular opinion it's too many pop-up characters we need more consistency mm-hmm. i agree um these hoes ain't loyal no <laughs> these hoes ain't loyal <laughs> uh Cortland said, Meech may come back and most of his people will be unalive. Angel was probably serious about helping Glock. Oh, I don't doubt that at all. Because she doesn't have anything else. And that this is the only thing that I feel like Meech messed up on. You're messing with somebody who you know has nothing to lose. And not that Meech will care. But please know that this is this is going to come back to bite you. Because at the end of the day, she's only going to help herself. Michelle said, he wasn't having it. No, he wasn't. Uh, Yana said, exactly, Nels. And then Jack said, Nails is right. I do remember when she said that. Yeah, he should have left it there. Um, so then we see Terry. He's on his way out in the streets with Markeisha. I did love this episode. Um, and it's thanking her. I mean, well, this particular scene and thanking her for her advice about going to Blaze. She wants to plan a romantic vacation, just the two of them. And then he tells her, well, he can't do that right now because Luanda is about to pop any minute. So um, once that's over, then maybe they can plan something. And I'm just cheap is what it gives me. But go ahead. What you mean just cheap? He ain't cheap with her. He took her to that, that restaurant out to dinner. Yes, he did. That diner. Talking about some, oh, you'll love the food. Markeisha don't look like she. I ain't thinking nothing of that because he was like, you still haven't seen my restaurant. Because I guess he could have took it. I guess he could have took it. In her opinion, you don't own a roof, Chris. So what are you bringing me here for? Well, let me tell you who went on a real date. <laughs> let me tell you who went on a real date. Okay, they didn't go to Red Lobster or Olive Garden like they soon to be ex husband could probably only afford. Okay, Maurice took Lucille on a real date. Okay, and she is yes, a friend. It she had is candles, and, you know, live music. Okay. Dr. Maurice is basically like, so if you're so impressed, well, she's why are you like, I want to thank you. Heavenly Father, for shining your light on me. You see, that's a sign, girl. That's a sign. That was a sign. Did you hear that? He's shining your light. Shining the light, girl. He was, I, That's what I said. I said, girl, you better listen to the song. You better listen to the song. Exactly. So, yeah, basically, Dr. Maurice is like, if you're so impressed, why you been ignoring? Why you been avoiding me? Avoiding my phone calls, okay? She said she don't want to disrespect, okay? Her vows, she's still living in the same house with this man. Didn't he disrespect you? Why you? Uh, Why y'all was in the same house? I, I, I just, she, just, she just cares too much for me. She just cares too she much. Does. Okay. So then he's like, F all that. Okay. I don't want to talk about that. Boy, I know you like to dance. Come on, let's go. He got to talk her into it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They get up, they get to dancing. All right. Then he gets a page on his hip. All right. And um, oh yeah, um, get a page on his hip, and it's Nikki mm-hmm. calling because Lawanza is in labor. Okay, Shut yeah. up. that was my thing. That was my thing. And then, oh, and so go. then Terry oh, gets the call that. Marquis, or no, he, yeah, he gets the call and then hustles out. Um, and Marquis is upset because he forgot to even take her ex home. And he's telling oh, he a whole damn thing. What happened? So Terry, Terry took Marquis to his restaurant. Yeah. Okay. She wasn't impressed. She wanted to go somewhere nice. So this girl took, I don't know if she took the battery out of his phone. She turned off his phone. I don't know what she did, but it was some dirty shit. Okay. It was dirty as hell. So nobody could contact his ass. Then the cook comes out the kitchen and is like, your baby mama is in labor. Okay. I, I don't know. I just, I wanted him to take a second to like, be like, damn, why the fuck my phone? What's up with my phone? I did too. I did I too. Guess, I guess, you know, in the hustle and bustle, you know what I mean? 
So she like, damn, you didn't even want to And he wouldn't believe it. Never. Markeisha would never. I can't stand Terry. Terry. If y'all can't tell, I don't like Terry. <laughs> I don't. It was only them two. So basically, he told the chef to uh give her a ride. So then Lucille and Dr. He Maurice said, get somebody out. else to do it. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. That's exactly what he did. He <laughs> said, get somebody else to do it. I ain't it. So Lucille and Dr. Maurice get to the house. Um, they about to deliver this baby right here on the living room floor. Okay. Okay. Dr. Charles, I'm sorry, uh, Charles walks in and I loved it. He's shocked. What the is going on here in my living room? Yeah, Dr. Maurice is in your living room about to deliver your whole grandchild. Yep, that's what's happening. Okay. And you know, he's just watching from the sidelines. Okay. It was given who is he and what is he to you? If y'all be the old school RB people, y'all know what I'm talking about. Let me about. tell you something. Lucille, I don't even know if Lucille saw Charles, okay? Because the way she was looking at Dr. Maurice, like she was falling deeper and deeper in deeper love. In, and in Charles love. was watching it from the sidelines. When I tell you I was loving this scene, I loved it. I seen it in her eyes. Girl, she's a good ass actress because I seen it. Oh, I yeah. She's, love she's a very eyes. good actress. Then Terry gets there after the baby was born, okay? LaWanda was basically like, get the hell away from me, okay? Because I know where you was at. I know who you was with. Because the, the cook told me. She said you cut the snitch your ass out. He had to shut, shut that down right there. Okay. So then he want to act like, oh, it's all about the baby. Da, 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 let me get the baby. Whatever, whatever. They start flipping out on each other. Dr. Maurice tries to calm Terry down and says, chill out, son. So Charles goes over, grabs uh, Terry. He's like, he ain't your son. I wish Maurice would have said, she is no longer your woman either. But we ain't here to talk about that. Well, I wanted it to be a whole fight night in that day. <laughs> now that's something. Look, I pay to see Dr. Maurice and Charles before I pay to see Jake Paul and Tyson. I'm just saying. Oh, I want to see that. Um, so then, that. basically, then Nicole she rushes upstairs after seeing all of this and seeing all this pain and these tears and this all drama and blood and baby and stuff. She made sure she popped them damn birth control pills. Mm. Yana said in her turn, we at her being Markeisha, Markeisha turning his stuff off proved to me that she did turn them into CPS because she knew she could help him out. I wouldn't doubt that. I don't put it, it I think Markeisha is so foul. Um, and maybe that's why I, I, thought, hate, I thought it was Henry though. I thought it was Henry that did it. I don't think it was Henry. Maybe I don't maybe know. Maybe I thought it was Henry. Oh, look, Jack, clear that up for us. Um, Jack said, Yo, and why was the chef at Tender DT's getting into the civics? <laughs> What's his malfunction? Broco went out the door. No, no, but yeah, Broco should you have a whole girl over here having your baby while you sitting here with this, and, and she ain't even grateful that you brought her here. Right is right, and wrong is wrong. Cortland said, Do y'all think that Maurice has other women and not just Lucille? I said that, Cortland. I've said that. I think that there's more. I, he may not be married. But I think that there's a reason that he's this old and hasn't been married. No shade to anybody that that's their situation. I'm just saying that does come off as a little bit like a red flag nowadays. Okay. Uh, Blake and True said, how long before we find out what Maurice has going on? Right, Blake and True? Some, it's just, it's, it seems too good to be true. I'm sorry. And I definitely think he's showing up with a representative. And to Charles's point, there's a reason. She may not remember right now, but there is a reason Lucille chose Charles over him. We don't know. You know what I mean? Dumb. It could be that, or it could be, you know what I mean? Sometimes you think, oh, you're going to get older. And people like, I've tried to spin the block, like with people from high school and stuff like that. And then you realize, like, I have my life has progressed so much, and it is not what I was doing in high school or why I was interested in you that it's like, this could never work. But for a minute, you might entertain it. So I, I can understand that. Um, J Dub said Lucille can't be uh can't be with Charles. She should just say, I gotta close this out with Charles. Oh, right, right. She should close it out with Charles first and then start anew. Just she, so need that, she need to kick him out of the house. That that's the first thing. Um, share my love is agreeing with Cortland. So going on with him, too good to be true and single. Right. At least Terry was there for his child's birth. Cortland. Um, wasn't it after? Right. He and and the only reason he wasn't there on time and with her is because he was with another woman. So I'm sorry, I can't, 
I, I can't give Terry any flowers for, for this. Um, I don't like Terry either, character or real life. Sorry. Thank you, J Dub. That's why that's my man's in them. That's why that's my man's in them, okay? Uh, Michelle A said, I believe in real life she got with old doctor, and I don't like Terry either. <laughs> now, look, they done moved them from La La to Terry Hate. Jesus. Right. <laughs> Share my love says, shout out to the cook. <laughs> she said, she, I did him. <laughs> Blatant true. They are trying to paint Charles as an innocent victim standing back, taking all Lucille's jabs. Right. And that's what, not what it is. She's getting her lick back. That's all that is. She's just getting I'm her cool lick with. back. J-Dub said the access, uh, the access Lucille looks so much like the real mom. Yes. Yes, she does. Yeah. If you the see actress, the two together, saying. yeah. Um, oh, he meant the actress. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Cortland said Maurice is evil, tried to take Charles' spot, and, and the family made it look like Charles was useless. He is useless. I mean, what does he bring? But drama well, and heartache. Uh, J Dub is agreeing with you. He thought it was Henry too that uh, called CPS. Share my love said I thought it was Henry. It may be wrong. It may have been Markeisha called CPS. I'm not sure now. I was. I said Markeisha didn't do it either. A couple episodes, a couple reviews ago. But now I'm not sure because of the way she moving. I really didn't like how she did that whole thing with taking the battery out of his phone and whatever. Um, and J Dub said he didn't choose, she didn't choose him because Charles was a nerd. <laughs> and then J Dub said, Never spin the block, right? Uh, Share My Love said Lucille is infatuated with Maurice. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. I think that she's infatuated, but I think once she really breaks it down and gets into it, you know, I, I think she's gonna realize that it's gotta be Maurice. Oh, they, here comes Jack, really here comes Jack, caping for raw dog Charles. She can't kick him out lawfully. I don't know, uh, Jack, because who's paying the mortgage? Is it Meech or, or Charles? I mean, lawfully, she can sue his ass for cheating, too. I don't know if they had the cheating claw, the adultery stuff in divorces back then. I don't know if that was that, that was a thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, J-Dub said, it's just like Tree said, Terry is the reason for BMFL. Absolutely. Um, what did... Jack say they're not making Charles innocent. I think it's desperation. <laughs> Yana said, "Listen, nobody likes Terry. I could be wrong about Marquisha though." And right, Meech paid the house off. So at this point, he demanded a house. Mm -hmm. Is it how? Right. That means Charles can go. Right. So then, um, we see Claude and Meech. They link up, and Claude lets them know that he has another crew on board, but they need to tread lightly. So Meech tells him that's on him and tells him, you know, he needs to be a leader that men will follow. And then basically Meech tells him that the plan sells itself. So just sell it. Okay. And then I'll be back and I ain't going to leave you. And then I, I literally have one sentence for this ending. Okay. We just see Henry roll up with y'all can correct me in the comments. I'm not even familiar with these, this type of weapons and artillery. I just said a flamethrower. Okay, I said a flamethrower too. I didn't know. Look, I want to say rocket launcher. What I was like going through all the things. I didn't know. I'm not okay. But um, and basically she rolls up to Diz and watch and and literally, she said, "I think that you should should let it burn." Yo, what got me was she said ashes and ashes and Diz to dust. I said she was a poet and didn't even know it didn't even know it um <laughs> Portland said uh claude will probably be unalive when meech gets back what y'all think no because i think that we had that's how we have to see remy go out in my opinion um j dub said yeah it was a flamethrower okay thank you thank you for getting that together because i didn't know but yeah i just thought that's when i was like okay y'all henry is it's too much it's too much. You now, will you know, the Mark come out of the bushes and, 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 and you? Absolutely. But he wasn't. This was he, he, look, he, he ain't savage. He ain't out here yeah, savage. he ain't that fire. Yeah. Goodness. You know, he might sing a song while he's he, got you know, some coops. Right. He might <laughs> he'll sing you a little lullaby while he puts you to sleep or something. But he ain't, he ain't that terrible. But yeah, enjoy y'all. I'm out early work. See you later, Jack. But yeah, we, we're about perfect timing because we're about to close it out anyway. Any last comments, predictions for the upcoming episode? Um, 
yeah, drop in the chat. Let us know what y'all think. But we definitely appreciate y'all being here with us. Lamar was authentic. That's what it was, yeah. right? We appreciate y'all being here with us. If you haven't already, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you comment. Make sure you're subscribed. And hit the notification bell. And make sure that you're following us on all the platforms, the TikTok, the Twitter, the Facebook, and the IG. And hopefully maybe I can pull a J-Dub up here next week because, you know, I love when he gets into the consciousness and relationship of it all. And he don't care if his TV is wrong. I love it. Uh, but, yeah, y'all. So thank y'all so much for joining us. And, yeah, my dog, y'all. We will. Oh, is that the dog that I'm supposed to get? That's Coco, yeah. Yay. She's supposed to be giving me Coco, y'all. So hopefully Coco will be, we'll be barking from that side. We're barking from this side. But anyway, y'all, so yeah, we thank you. We appreciate y'all. And we will catch you next week for another recap of BMF. Have a good night and have a great week. Good night. Bye -bye.